Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this is Sight Hacks. This next video looks at self-citation. So self-citation is a very tricky topic as academics can fall into that trap of repeatedly self-citing in the vain hope of increasing their H-index and citations. Improving your H-index this way is like taking steroids to run a race. Sometime or another you will get found out and will start to get a negative reputation as a result of it. Self-citation is no bad thing as long as you are citing the relevant work. If you wish to publish a paper about health literacy, don't be tempted to shoehorn a previous piece of research in that you wrote about the lifespan of a mayfly, unless mayflies need to be more health literate. Treat your own research as you would anyone else's. Is it fit for inclusion? Does it support the paper you are writing? If it does, include it, and those using it for their own further research may also cite it. If you are an authoritative academic in a particular area of research or has published extensively on, this, on a subject, then it is natural to include your previous findings to support your latest piece of work. But don't get into the habit of carelessly doing it to bump up your citation rate, as you may find fellow academics and journal editors looking down on you with some disdain. My name is Andy Tattersall, and if you liked this video, you can find more at these websites.